countdown is on our homeowners are on their way back and uh, we've only got another hour maybe before they arrive back so we're all hitched on checklists done and uh, we're ready to go so we're heading over the hill over the Rimatakas into Petoni and the plan is to stay the night at the Petoni Working Men's Club um, it's quite close to the ferry because we are on the 8 o'clock sailing tomorrow now the weather as you can see is absolutely stunning a beautiful day here in Martinborough not so for tomorrow we're just hoping that the front doesn't hit until about midday when we should be pulling into Picton because it's not looking good but anyway so long as the wine bottles on board don't get smashed and a truck doesn't tip over and squash us in the hull of the boat it should be all good luckily we've got our sea legs still so um, it's not going to be the seasickness factor it's just going to be the rough crossing isn't that always the way the weather has been beautiful beautiful for days and we decide to cross Crook Strait and the weather forecast is weather warnings with gales so anyway that's the way we roll so goodbye Mark it's been great Petoni Working Men's Club. So if you're a member of the NZMCA you can park here for a maximum of four nights and it's just $10 a night per vehicle. So um, I think we might go and have dinner at the Working Men's Club tonight. So there are we, parked up there for the night, ready for our early departure in the morning to the ferry. So it's just past six o'clock in the morning at Bluebridge. So I've just checked in at the office and um, got our boarding instructions. And we're just gonna go and line up. So first in the queue, and that's just the way we like to roll. I'm gonna go and put the jug on, I might have a shower, and I might have some breakfast. Seven seven fifteen, sailing time eight o'clock. So yeah, not too bad at all. Got time for a coffee? No time for a shower. Coffee and breakfast priorities.
So when we came off the ferry yesterday at Picton, we made our way to um, Blenheim with the main point of uh, meeting up with uh, the homeowners of our house that we're going to be coming back here to in August. So we parked at um, what we refer to as a CAP, a Charges Apply uh, Property Parking uh, through the NZMCA. Um, Rita's place, lovely lady and um, just cost us five dollars for the night to park up and we were uh, just on the outskirts of Blenheim Township pretty close actually pretty close to the um, to the city and here's our spot here certainly not many here at this time of the year we were just parked in beside that, that caravan there that you see and little places like this are just just the best so we're all hooked up and ready to go and we're going to be heading back to Picton and we're heading to a dock camp called Fotomango. Uh, it's right by the, the water so looking forward to staying for a couple of nights maybe there.